Hey, what's up? This is Pat Drastic from Thugly, and you're watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I'm here at Festival Toronto with Thugly. Hello, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. You just played an awesome set here. <laughs> thank how you. How are you feeling at the moment? Uh, hot. <laughs> <laughs> it is boiling out yeah, there. Yeah, and I, I made the mistake of wearing a corduroy shirt today. <laughs> it's a bad move. No, it was good though. It's Had good. good energy, and yeah, it's fun. When you're on stage and you're looking out at the hundreds of people just dancing, raising their arms up, the girls at the front raising their arms up, uh, <laughs> what's running through your mind? Uh, to be honest, like, like I'm moving through my set really quick. Like I, I play like pretty fast. We bo both, me and my partner and Dougley do, and uh, so I'm really like pretty much focused on the task at hand. And yeah. I try to take a, like a, a moment here and there to like, I don't know, like take it let it, yeah, take it in. But it's tough because I'm just go 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 go. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it's cool to see everyone react to, to your music, and it's awesome. Well, the lineup this weekend at Bestival is just stellar. Super dope. Tell Super me dope. a little bit about your dream lineup. Where would it take place? Who would you want to be on the bill? Ooh. Um, I don't know. Maybe, like, I'm thinking more of, like, a city that I like. Not necessarily, like, people there would go off, but, like, I don't know. Like, maybe, like, a festival in Tokyo with, like, uh, I don't know. Lots of rap. Lots of rap, like Future and Drake or something. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be like kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. And then on the music front, you've dropped Sikkim. Yeah. And it's like a very danceable, kind of aggressive, really neat song. Can very you tell me? Yeah. yeah. Can you tell yeah. me where the idea came from to include those dog snarls and the whole Sikkim concept? Um. Yeah. Uh. It kind of like started. Um. Well, I mean, we we had kind of like made a lot of the music already, yeah. and uh, yeah. I mean, it was just kind of aggressive, and we had these like kind of like chain noises in it that kind of sounded like a dog like tied up trying to get away yeah. and and uh so we were like oh let's add these little like dog growls and and then we thought of like the line to say and um yeah i mean it just kind of like came Clicked sort of like sense. after the music was made yeah yeah but nice. uh yeah it came together pretty dope and then what's next music wise collaborations remixes uh yeah we've got a few remixes on the go uh we're working on an ep right now that that is like getting close to being done uh uh we'll see it's kind of evolving like bigger than an ep like we're just we're making like a lot of music right now um focusing on that so uh yeah just trying to get that ep done and yeah and uh share it with the world awesome yeah. and you've worked with a lot of neat people in the past who's the one person you'd love to get on a thugly track that you've yet to uh jeez <laughs> uh like we're starting to work with like more like singer songwriters yeah. and, and and rappers and stuff so probably like someone in the rap world um maybe someone from toronto because toronto's just killing it on the rap game right now like i don't know uh we fuck with like jazz cartier uh Derek wise uh there's a lot of like really good toronto rappers that I'd like to do something with maybe down the road we'll see yeah and i'm also digging the remix you did for panda by designer yes and you posted that video where the guy was actually dancing with the panda hat on <laughs> yeah. to panda how did you <laughs> how did you find that uh <laughs> We were watching like the f like footage of like the fader fort from South by Southwest, and he came out and brought this this guy out in a panda <laughs> helmet, doing weird dances like dabs and just weird. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we were like, it'd be kind of cool to like do a video of this guy just wilding out to it or something. Like, I don't know. It was just kind of a goofy idea, but it, it came out. No, I loved kinda it. Kind of cool. Yeah. We ended up calling and you've been tweeting about how it's the panda dance. Yeah. It seems like that's very open though, as far as the term. So what's your yeah. interpretation of the panda dance? Jeez, I don't know. <laughs> just wilding out. I, I, I don't know. Like, like if you watch, have you ever seen like designer like interviewed or anything or like when he like comes up to his song, he barely like sings any of it or raps any of it. He just does like ad libs and then does like an insane, excessive, insane amount of dabs. Like he'll just be like, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> It's like, I maybe that's it. Yeah, I don't maybe. know. Like it's like the dab on crack kind of. <laughs> maybe that's that's it. I that's don't the know. title. Yeah. Dab on crack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, for lack of a better, uh, better term. Yeah. Well, I know you also love skateboarding. Yes, I'm obsessed. Yeah. Can you tell obsessed. me a little bit about one of the biggest wipeouts you've had? I'm sure it hasn't happened in Ooh, a while, but I know it shit. always happens to everyone. I've had really bad ones, like really bad. Like, uh, I've had three. Uh, dislocated elbows, oh, wow. uh, compound fractured elbows. That was probably the worst. Uh, so like elbow out, dislocated and out of the skin. Uh, I woke up like 
in the, in the hospital, like wrapped in tensor bandages, Jeez. just like, yeah, really bad. I've had some seriously bad <laughs> ones. I've had my knee drained twice, broken ankle, uh, like incredible amount of injuries. Yeah. yeah. After like the third elbow, the doctor's like, what the, f what the hell are you doing? Like, <laughs> stop skateboarding. I got prescribed like a brace that like held my arm in a position where it like couldn't break. Wow. But uh, yeah, I've had some pretty traumatic ones. Some pretty gnarly ones, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And doing like, like I was, I was pretty good back in the day, but this was like doing like dumb shit, like goofing around, like, like not so even, not even, not, not even like just... trying like a, like a crazy handrail or something, like just goofing around and it just fell weird. And, and that was that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> some bad ones. Yeah. Well, I just want to do a little quick fire round with you. Okay. So what else do you enjoy when you're not focusing on Thugly? Uh, whew, that's hard. Cause like that's shh, tunnel vision on that. Uh, I, I, I mean, I watch skate videos. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know, hang out with my family. Um, uh, I'm a mama's boy, so go back to Ottawa and see my mom. That's uh, that's like my ideal, watch Netflix. Uh, Tom, my partner in Thugly, just had a baby, so uh, I, I like spoiling the kid and hanging out with the baby. That's awesome. Yeah. And what's a food that you despise? Despise? Yes. Who? Uh, I, I don't know if it's like a food, but I hate, uh, I hate like spicy mustard, like okay. Dijon mustard. Why? Like, <laughs> oh, it's disgusting. Why, Dijon? Like if I, like sometimes I'll like, like I've ordered like a, like a hot dog somewhere and like they just automatically put it on and like not even like it, as soon as it gets to my nose, like I'm, you know. I'm done. Toss it. <laughs> like no point. Yeah. Where's your favorite restaurant in Toronto? Oh shit. That's tough. Uh. Uh, I mean, it's not like I like Bar Isabel, uh, and uh, uh, that for like some fancy shit, uh, and then Grand Electric Tacos. I eat that Best. like probably like two or three times a week. <laughs> it's so bad, but yeah, Grand Electric for sure. Nice. And then the last one, a must-have on your tour rider. Uh, jeez, uh, I don't know. Coca-Cola probably. Coca-Cola. Yeah. Yeah, I got a Coke. I, <laughs> I love Coca-Cola. It's bad, but I love it. So to wrap things up today, is there anything you want to say to all of the Thugly fans out there who are going to be uh, doing the interview? Shit. Thanks so much for supporting. Uh, we've got a ton of new music on the way. Uh, really excited to, to put out this EP soon. And uh, yeah, just stay tuned for that. And thanks for uh, fucking with us. Wicked. Thank you so much for speaking with us. And it was right after your set. So yes. we appreciate it. No worries. Thank you so much for having me. My pleasure. And remember to everybody viewing, you can visit us at musicblogger.com for all kinds of interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite artists. See you next time. Cheers.